Not everyone that you know in your life has that same happy ending. Not everyone that you know in your life has that same head start. Your life, just living every day is a gift. It's a blessing. From the clothes on your back to the food that you eat and the knowledge that you have. But you just take that for granted. Wanting to smoke weed, wanting to do what everyone else do, and then commit suicide. All of that for nothing. A lot of y'all have that head start, that special gift that not a lot of people have. Y'all, a lot of people have that advantage, but don't use it. Then let it go to waste. Let me tell y'all something. Don't let no or nothing dictate your life but God. Because something I had to learn last minute, and I wish I would have known this earlier, is that it takes you nothing but yourself to grow mentally and physically. I used to be in a weak mindset. Last year was the first year I understood that I could do whatever I want as long as I put my mind to it and keep myself encouraged. Because at the end of the day, there's gonna only be two people left, and that's you and God. And that's something I want y'all to never forget. All it takes is one thing, whether it's knowledge, a health problem, money, it only takes one thing that can pretty much tell y'all to risk your life ago. You don't always have to be a genius because everything is not rocket science. All you have to do is just get the concept of whatever it is you're doing. And that, that'll be enough to get you going. See, in math, in school, us kids, we encounter different problems that are sometimes hard for us to solve. But as long as we get what the question it is, the problem is it's talking about or what it's surrounded on, it can help us to better be able to figure out what's the approach I want to take. How can I tackle this problem? It only takes one word, one thought, one action that can set your life going. If you're sick of that weak mentality and you're just ready to get up and make a change for yourself, because y'all, I know that it's hard. It's not easy being able to wake up and, and work out because people, one thing people say, it's easy to work out. It's just getting up the next day, do it all over again. It's the hard part. Kobe said it himself, it's not easy. David Goggins said it's not easy. Andrew Tate said it's not easy. It's something that you can't just do once or twice and just let, let it be that. It's something you gotta continuously do and practice. And the more and more you do, it's gonna make you start coming like this. Eventually, you should be able to breathe, it, meaning that you should be able to do it without thought. All it takes for you to just, just get up and just tell yourself, I'm done being fat. You feel like you're fat. I'm done being fat. I'm gonna go find and make a change for myself. I'm done being getting the lowest grade in my class. I'm gonna start studying harder. All it takes for you to do that is just keep yourself encouraged while you're doing it. Because it's something about working out and getting things done by yourself. It's fun with friends and stuff, but the more I work with people, I learn that there's just, there's just a distraction holding me back from my potential. It's just time for y'all to just go ahead and just get up. Make a change for y'all so. Because one thing I learned, if you see a problem in the world, the first way is to solve it is to face the truth. And I hate how you kind of using that as an example, but it's a problem that many people have. A lot of people can't accept that they're fat. A lot of people cannot just accept it. And David Goggins man, was talking about it. He said it's sad how you can't even point that out to nobody, not in a disrespectful way. And that's why when people see me and I know you, you're you're in my little foxhole. If you're in my foxhole and you become a piece of shit, hey. Come here, brother. Let me talk to you real quick, brother. People don't like that shit, man, but I'm not going to allow you to go to a place that's going to be hard to get out of. Where this world is now, you can't say a mother thing. I do. I still do, and I always will. Don't like me. Don't like me. I'm good with that. Tomorrow, I'm going to so you're fat. I won't let that just hurt me, hurt my heart. It used to. But I use that stuff. I don't see it as negative coming, even as what it is. See it as a motivation. A motivation to keep going. 
because if my friend, I can't, I can't possibly, possibly walk around my, walk around knowing one of my friends are unhealthy. They're okay with it. I can't, I can't possibly, possibly allow one of my friends to do that. We are responsible for our own actions. A lot of people honestly just don't see it. That's why it's important. If you really love somebody, you have to tell them the truth. Because other than that, it could lead to other things. And that's when that guilt can build in a big one inside of you. God, I know about that. I know about that a whole lot. It's all about, you just got to do one thing just, just to get you going. Even if it's the smallest thing, because a person was excited because he did one push-up. Which I was proud of him, because that's not something a lot of people can do. No matter what it is, you should always congratulate somebody for doing something right because you don't know how big of an accomplishment something is to someone until you are in the same shoes as them. That's why I'm the type of person that likes to have perspective. Your goal for 2024 is to build a relationship with God. Go to God wants you to evangelize your friends and those around you. Start your arc. Start working out.